Hello my beautiful little mugglets. Today we are checking out Moonlight Kin. We have recently raised him to level 60, fully awakened him. Uh, he is apparently number one in my list. I don't know how it decides that, but cool. I'm still not totally sure about his gear. He has a speed set on which, you know, depending on what you're gonna be using him for, it's, uh, it's not that good. Like, to be perfectly honest, I'm not even sure what I should showcase him in, because as far as I'm aware, he's best on PvP defense. Uh, so, you know, but regardless, here are his stats. Um, not very high crit chance, because when he counterattacks via a critical hit, it's guaranteed to be, it's guaranteed to critical anyway, so. Uh, critical hit damage mostly is what I focused on. Crit chance, no speed. Again, it would be pretty easy just to strip the speed set and give him something else. Like, might try and get an immunity set in there. Probably would be pretty good for him, honestly. Maybe try and bump the health up a little bit via substats, but I think to check him out, go do some gameplay or whatever would be... It's, it's good enough for now. Uh, I am really still lacking on immunity pieces. Again, I think that's probably gonna be pretty important when you're gonna make him slow and just try and have him counterattack. You know, he'll have that immunity for quite a while. One thing I was told about by my buddy Az in regards to Moonlight Kin, however, is something slightly more interesting, and that is farming. Farming XP, farming whatever. He apparently can solo hell mode of whatever. So we're just gonna try this one. I'm not sure if it's gonna be good or not, but let's Let's just give it a try. I would leave Tamarin in there to be honest, but I guess she still can do things that would help Kin, so just to make it as fair as possible, we're gonna do that. Okay, I mean, just to make it totally fair, we're gonna take off the supporter, even though I take a supporter regardless, because you get those, you know, the friendship points. But I guess it could change depending on which supporter is, like, frontline or whatever, so we're just gonna go with no supporter and see if it works out. Um, yeah. I think for this, though, so, like, using him as, as an XP farmer, probably it might be more important to have uh, more speed and um, not necessarily an immunity set, of course, for PvP defense, which it would be kind of dumb to have Moonlight Kin and raise him and not use him for PvP defense, I would say. So, I don't know. You have to kind of decide what's, what's more important for you. But uh, basically, we're just going to try and see. There goes our first fodder. Very big rip. He will counterattack, though. Not not very bigly, because it wasn't a critical. It's kind of uh, It's kind of another thing with these with story mode is they don't have a very high crit chance. Ooh, there's gonna be a nice counter-attack. Pretty decent. I mean, this isn't gonna be super fast, you know, regardless, even if he does survive, which I'm I'm, I'm not too sure about right now, to be honest. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's not gonna be fast, for sure. So yeah, it's pretty much just him alone now, but I mean, he's uh, still alive, I guess. Halfway dead. But I think uh, when he gets under 50% is when his stuff actually starts proccing the artifact, which gives him health back. So like here, for example, you see that? Almost full health again. So personally, I probably wouldn't use him like this, uh, but if you're definitely more concerned about energy to XP efficiency, it's just going to be a lot slower than with like only two fodders and a supporter obviously would help you speed it up. And also you can't really be super energy efficient when you're doing hell mode anyway because it's normal mode that gives you the most XP per energy. Um, so I don't know, but fun fact, he can seemingly, at least this place, I don't know, we're doing okay. Maybe a boss that stuns or something uh, would be a little bit harder, I reckon. But uh, this is taking way too long though. I'm not sure if he's actually gonna survive. He didn't. Well then, good job Moga. You just wasted eight minutes for nothing. Okay, so maybe that boss was bad because he kept spawning slimes. You could take one strong AoE as well on like normal mode where you get the most XP anyway and probably take three fodders, especially when you're gonna take a supporter with you as well. Um, but there's that, so, um, Cool. <laughs> Got a new arena season as well. I mean, I guess we can try taking him in there. I think this is our current defense team, which we have 0% win rate, but maybe no one has attacked us yet. I mean, Cecilia and Kin, yes. I, I, just, don't, I just don't know why I have Vivian and Lulica in there. But I mean, yeah, I, I wouldn't really know who else to put in there. Maybe a healer. Bad thing is I don't have the really good Soul Weaver artifacts, so it's kinda, it's, it's kinda important. But yeah, I definitely haven't really thought about my arena defense, to be honest. Wouldn't wouldn't really know. That's the Ravi in there. Kinda, kinda bruiser also. 
Sort of, you know. We'll check back in that later, see if we got any defense wins. I never had as much defense success as I had with my Judith team, though, so it's like a cleave on defense, uh, because I don't think people were expecting that quick Judith, you know? And, uh, of course, when Judith wins, then, uh, yeah. Speaking of Judith, we got a Judith here. I wouldn't know how to attack with Kin either, to be honest. We'd probably need to find like an AoE team, you know, ones with lots of AoE. Well, not really Dizzy preferably because she would uh, cripple Kin even if she would do some AoE. All right, let's go try and find some immunity for him. I guess take the speed set off. Got a couple immunity helmets, but they're probably garbage. Oh well, that's not too bad. Oh, it's, wait, it's Monday. We got, we can get some Olagoras. Hold on, boys. There's one. There's one. Oh snap, we could also get a piece of gear. Or should we save up for the unknown slate? Hmm. And I think those are the basic weekly Molagoras. Yeah, we can only get it up by 15% unfortunately, but better than nothing, I guess. Uh, for the next one, we'll have to wait a bit. Not too long though, five more Molagoras. Yeah, so we're definitely gonna have to take this one off of Kiki Rat, uh, because we don't have any swords, chests, or necklace. Or boots. We only have helmets and a couple rings, I think. Speed, crit damage, attack, effectiveness, effect resistance, flat attack, fins, effectiveness. Yeah, we're probably gonna go with this one, I guess. Yeah, but then like I have just the immunity set. Oh yeah, I think I raised this garbage. Whatever. Just wondering if 100% attack is better than 55% crit damage. I have a feeling it probably is, because I'm sure I got an attack chest as well. Not very good ones. Yeah, we can go with Shermia's. Well, we got it up to 11 and it went to attack and crit damage so far. I really hate using these <laughs> these redstones on this. Ooh, attack again. Not bad though, I gotta say. I mean, pretty much only Ken can use this. Oops, is that too much? No, not yet. Uh, hopefully we have some garbage rings around here because once I use these two blue stones or we get a good or a great woodwork, awesome. Got some speed, which is kind of useless, but fine. Um, ooh, his health is still way too low, I think, maybe. But I mean, if he can just one shot with one counter, then maybe he'll be fine. We do have uh, Fallen Cecilia with an Arius in there as well, so uh, helps him survive a little bit better. Okay, we're just gonna start with this team just to kind of see how this works out. We don't have the speed boost from Shuri anymore, but I kind of don't, well, maybe Dizzy. Let's see, no, we're all good. Three of them have immunity sets anyway now, so. Let's go ahead and boost up Kisa as usual. And uh, if this fails to kill them, okay. If this fails to kill them. Oh, there we go. Counter attack. Didn't really do anything because I don't think Destina criticaled. Pfft. Noob Destina with not 100% crit chance. And I guess we can see a basic attack. Boom. Okay. He, uh, he also doesn't have a 100% crit chance. Pretty, pretty pretty far from it, actually. Let's go ahead and give you another chance. Uh, well, nah, I don't want to do the ult. I mean, if he would crit, it would pro probably be decent. Oh, we got Yuna in this team. And uh, there's not that much AoE, honestly. And there's this assassin that uh, gave me nightmares already. Also, we don't have Shuri anymore. God, why did I do that? How close? Oh, Dizzy is the faster one. Kaboom! This is just gonna be another Kisa video, I'm very sorry. But until replays become a thing, I'm not really gonna be able to show him on defense. Whatever, let's try this one. We have Shadow Rose, which is typically built as fast as possible for the combat readiness. But her attack is also AoE, so... Okay, she's a little bit too slow. Chomp! What you got, Ken? Critical? No? Okay. You wanna try again, buddy? Let's do this. There you go. Still not that impressive. Yeah, I'm actually kind of trying to find like a cleave team, but like there aren't any anymore. It's all just wall comps or single target damage dealers. I mean, okay. I wonder if that counts. I think Seaside Bellona's AoE when I'm hitting them counts as a counter attack, so it wouldn't, it can wouldn't counter attack then, probably. But besides that, there's just Euphina, which is, you know, single target. Whatever. Enjoy Kisa Cleave again, I guess. Chomp. Go, Ken. You can do it, buddy. I believe in you. Ooh, a rare challenger. Connection error. Raz ain't messing around. Well then, let's do one more. Uh, here we go. Here's some AoE, I think. Sort of. Is it also Cleave? I can't tell what this team is. It's kind of weird. 
But hey, if they don't go first, then you can see Kisa probably one-shot them all again. Oh, here we go, here we go. Do some criticals. Oh, wait. Oh, ha, ha, get out of here. Didn't even kill her. She's a light type, even. Okay. What am I doing wrong? Not enough crit damage, I reckon. Um, ooh, ouch. Yeah, here's maybe more AoE, or is it single target? Oh, yeah, that's AoE. Please don't kill my Kisa, though. I actually kind of want to win this one. Uh, counterattack. Get. He's so weak. Why is he this weak? <laughs> Just don't kill my Kisa. Oh, God, they're getting combat readiness. No! Kill him! Kill something, Kin, once, please! Oh god. Uh, okay, let's just try and silence them then, I guess. I think we'll get skill nullifier with this one, probably. And, uh, let's just try this. See if we get this... I don't know, they're all pretty low health now. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna work. Okay, well... What the hell? Eight? Oh, he had defense. Uh, she had defense break. Okay. I think I'm gonna get wrecked by the uh, last remaining C Dom, unfortunately. <sighs> Boom! Don't put all your faith in Thank you for going for the uh, tank, though. Ooh, and not provoked? Go, Ken! Alright, sick. I guess. I don't know. Okay, so he might need div div different stats, probably. Leave your suggestions in the comments down below, because, um,. Yeah, you guys are good at that. But yeah, I suppose that'll pretty much do it for today's video. Make sure to tell me what you think in the comments down below. Leave a like if you did enjoy. It's great, always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks, as always, for watching. And until next time.